Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. Today's Sunday for me. I'm not sure what day it's going to be for you guys. Either Monday or Friday, but know that it's Sunday when I'm filming this video. I decided to put a hand on because... I don't think that you guys deserve to see me looking like a junkie all the time. And I took my um, U part out because I'm off for two days and I really wanted to allow my scalp to breathe and to be able to oil it efficiently and effectively. And so I took the U part out. It is currently 4 p.m., almost 5 p.m., 4.30 p.m., almost 5 p.m. And I have inside of the kitchen. We're going to make some salmon in the... Um, air fryer i seen somebody make it on instagram and i'm like well i'll have salmon on the fridge and we're gonna make some drumsticks these have been seasoned one evening i was gonna cook and i'm like oh my gosh let me season them i'll put them in the fridge but uh, i seasoned them i put them in the fridge and i ended up forgetting that i had them in the fridge and because i forgot they were just in there seasoned which is a good thing for me especially right now because i'm able to just take it out and frost it and start cooking it I don't know what I'm gonna, um, what the heck? I don't know what I'm gonna make with it yet, but I'll figure that out as time progresses. But, a minute. At this point, I've had this camera for about two or three months and I feel like I finally figured out the the settings okay i just have to mess with the ios depending on if i'm recording a day in a day or night god i can't speak and um we're great i just decided to make some what do i call that what am i gonna call that am i gonna say vegetable rice or am i gonna say seasoned rice vegetable rice because it has mixed veggies inside of it yeah maybe we'll go with that because I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier, which means implementing vegetables as much as I can, which is very, you know, very rare. It's whatever. So I, I put the rice in the rice cooker. I put everything in there and everything. And I distinctly remember turning it on. But just now when I checked, because I'm like, oh, at this point it should be done. It was just off, which is very odd. And I don't know how that happens, but we're here. I just had some leftover curry chicken and rice. Wasn't too delectable, to be honest. You see, with curry, sometimes it's a hit or miss, and that one was definitely a miss. Maybe I was cooking in a hurry just because it is 4 p.m., but I am drinking my first cup of coffee because these days I find that in the mornings I'm not starving anymore, and I've only noticed that this week. I'm literally not, I feel like I'm dying of hunger in the mornings, and so in the mornings I haven't really been eating until like a little bit later in the day, but I did wake up and I had an orange. Oh my God. As soon as I spoke about the orange that I said, I'm going to order some same day delivery. But here's my dilemma. If I order it on Target, I'm not going to get everything because I do want to get butter because it just makes sense. Oranges. I love oranges. I love um, bananas too. As I'm speaking about bananas, I have some on the table and I'm thinking of making banana bread for my friend and co-worker but i don't really feel like going through the process of doing that right now can i trust myself to make that tomorrow i don't really know either way i can allow the bananas to get a little bit more overripe <clears throat> and then um because the more overripe the sweeter they are are they actually i don't really know but the better they are the easier they are to like mash out to make the banana bread so there's that. So I'm trying to get my my order together on the Target um, app. Let me see in deep delivery. Definitely need to get some oranges because I have some oranges on the table. And God, you guys, my fruit bowl, my fruit bowl is looking so sad right now. Then also the table is full of all types of stuff. The absolute the absolute saddest bananas, the saddest plantains. The saddest grapes. Look at that fallen soldier right there. Just 
just here for the ride, here for a good time. Not a long time, obviously, but I absolutely love having fresh fruits on my table. Puts me in a better mood, and I absolutely love fruits. When I can't figure out what I want to eat, I can eat some fruits, and that will be good. So, are we gonna go with Target? Them orange expensive me. A dollar twenty nine each. So let's buy some. Okay, we can buy this bag for five dollars. The thing with Target is, if I if I do the same day delivery, I will get it today. With Amazon um, Fresh, I'm not gonna get it today. I'm gonna get it tomorrow. I just realized that I have a bag on the floor that I shown y'all at this point quite some time ago with like a jug of oil in there some crackers and a container of ginger ale and i can't even okay so orange banana just to really start the week off you know i could also order these on instacart because instacart has like a grocery section now i've used it a few times maybe three times but the one thing that i don't like is when it comes to substituting things it's like a difficult little process though Second time, the man was like, oh, approve it in the app. And there was nothing to approve. Oh, there was nothing to approve. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is frustrating. So I don't like that. Let's see what other fruits Target has available that we're going to buy. Maybe this week we'll try some strawberries. Blueberries are sometimes sour, and so I don't even bother because it's a hit or miss. And if it's sour, I'm probably not going to eat it. Should we get some gala apples? We absolutely should this week. Because that makes sense, and I have none. Should we get some pear? Can I find some pears on here? Oh, so obviously I'm getting my, my grocery list together and I have the meat, the frosting to cook and I already have the rice going and that's basically, and I ate and took my vitamins at 4 p.m. in the day. Oh my gosh, that is so damn tragic. But that's basically what we have going on for today, a Sunday, my last day off. Also, also last night, yesterday evening, Maybe at like, was it 5 p.m.? Let me look and see. 9.32 p.m. The One of the supervisors that I really despise, and I don't I really ever say I despise people, and I don't despise him as a person. I just despise his managerial skills. Oh my God, he's incompetent. Whenever we're working, we're understaffed, and we're on the floor struggling because of him. And when you try to explain to him, he says things like, oh my gosh, I don't understand how the ratio is going to be 1 to 20 for the text. If there are 45, um, the census is 45 and there are only two texts on the floor. And I'm just like, bro, are you, are you absolutely kidding me? And every week, one day, we have to have this argument and nothing changes. And so I can't even stand him. And so I let the phone ring. And go to voicemail and then I heard his voice and I'm like immediately no even if I wanted to for somebody else for him absolutely not because I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna struggle and that's a preconceived notion that I have in my head when he is working and I'm just not gonna put my, myself through that I'm so sorry so I didn't answer anyways this morning my floor manager called me and she was like do you want to come in for a 3 to 11 shift and I'm like I act I always act like I'm sleeping when they call me and I'm like <clears throat> um no and she's like i was prepared to do a trade-off and i'm like of what and she's like oh you know if you came in for the 3 to 11 shift i would have given you tuesday off and i'm this weekend i wanted to pick up a shift but i'm going off of how my body feels and my body just didn't feel like it anymore especially because saturday night weekend and friday night we kind of struggled and i'm just like you know i'm going home and i'm taking my weekend off and i'm sleeping i'm giving my body some grace i'm resting no so i did not and now we're here. So, um, yeah. So I just ended up saying no. And after she came off of the phone, I was thinking about it for a while. But I'm like, mm, no. Mm -mm. And I've never worked the 3 to 11 shift. And I want to try at some point. But right now, no. Today, I didn't really feel like it. And I want to cook some food, you know. I like to, on my days off, prepare for the week ahead. And so we're, we're trying to do that. I've been talking for a minute. And I haven't shown y'all that. And I haven't shown y'all anything. Hopefully, the next time I come back on here, I can show you guys a the meat done but we'll just see do not have any expectations or any high hopes for that because that might not happen but i'm caffeinated we're gonna retire to the living room and watch some tv while i can see the frost on its own and i could just put it in the microwave and start it but i'm procrastinating a little bit so i'm gonna procrastinate for another like 30 45 minutes and then we're gonna figure out what we're doing with everything so um yeah see you guys later